Hello everyone, this is Chris Keys. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint yellow tulips using inks and watercolor paper. Alright, so this is not a perfect fresh bouquet of tulips. These are tulips as they're dying. I really love to paint dying and dead flowers because they have way more texture, way more character. No flower painting is going to look the same. Um, the leaves have, as you can see on the side, the leaves have started to curve over you know tulips then you know that usually the leaves kind of stick straight up and every single flower pretty much looks uniform so this just helps to practice a variety of techniques for flower painting and it helps your flower painting to stand out all right so this is probably one of the easiest flower paintings that I have recorded I'm only using three different inks so you don't have to really know how to mix colors as you can see I, I've started putting down my green inks this is a um, dark green ink by Dr. P.H. Martin that I'm mixing it together with a light green ink by Dalla and Rowney Pearlescent. So literally what I've done, I've just double dipped my brush into each ink and for each flower, depending on how much pressure you put on the paper, the colors are going to come out different. All right, so I'm using a wet to wet technique. I've taken this uh, watercolor brush. This is by Winsor & Newton and I'm just lightly wetting my paper down first so that the the inks can go down smoothly and the inks can have some fluidity and sort of spread so you see how nicely that the inks are going down again i'm applying more pressure towards the end of the the of the stem and then i'm sort of lightening up and coming on the tip of the brush towards the the tip of the flower stems and the leaves And so in my opinion, when you paint flowers as they're dying and you just have these nice curves and wrinkles and bends for the flower petals and the leaves and everything, it looks it, look, it makes it look a little bit more expensive uh, versus just painting it a uh, standardized. And also if you're trying to just practice flower painting, this helps it helps you to have a little bit more imagination because I know that a lot of people get stuck with trying to make it look so perfect. So if you start off with painting flowers or just even painting fresh flowers, but just sort of putting your own twist on it so it doesn't look so perfect, it helps you to also it helps you to find your own style for one thing, and it just helps you to get through the flower painting without overthinking it without making it look just like the flower all right so i've started painting the flower petals um i'm literally sort of using my flowers as a guide i'm only using one color of yellow so you don't have to try to mix together colors to get this sort of shadow look this is um yellow color by it's golden yellow by dr ph martin this is from the Bombay line so it's really vibrant going down and I'm just using more pressure on my brush on the base of the flower and then letting it up going on the tip of my brush for this line drawing as it gets to the tip of the flower all right so this second flower petal is a little more a little more abstract the flower petals have really started to spread out almost just about to fall completely off of the stem and I don't want to put this is one important thing about flower painting when you're trying to do like this loose flower painting it's just not to put too much detail if you feel like you're about to overwork it just kind of step away from it you know look at something else for a minute maybe you even have to put it down for a few hours or something then go back to it and try to see what line or what brush stroke is more important for the next piece of the flower painting you don't want to overdo it and you don't want to make it look too tight and too stiff it's almost like you're allowing the brush to just ice skate across the paper holding the brush in the middle not holding it too tight towards the end
All right, so for this third flower, the texture of the petals um, have more curves, like squiggly lines. So I'm just really imitating that with my brush. And if you can see a little bit that the water is starting to make it uh, blend out a little bit and there's nothing to be scared or concerned about, just allow the water to take the flower painting wherever it wants to take it. Really using watercolors, inks, any kind of water soluble paints for this loose technique. It's really, it's partially you and then it, the rest of it is the water's job. So every painting is gonna look different. All right, so we're on our last flower painting. And as you can see, each, like I said, each flower looks completely different. You can tell that it's still, you know, from the same flower family, from still a tulip. But since they are decaying, each one has just taken a characteristic of its own. So this one is really vibrant. I've dipped my brush a little bit more into the inks, into the yellow ink. And you guys let me know if you would like to see this done in a in like a variety because tulips are in season now so let me know if you want me to do this um tutorial using different colors of tulips i think that would be interesting to see so just let me know in the comment section And so for this last flower, what I've done, I've used for the first couple of flowers, I used two different brushes. So I had a brush for the stem and the leaves, and then I had a brush for the um, flower petals. For this last one, I used the brush for the stem for the flower petals. So you can see that that yellow and green has mixed together. So that's another idea. All right, guys. So that is pretty much the finished flower painting. Nice, loose, airy. Um, like I said, it's always nice to leave a little bit up to the imagination of the viewer and not put down too much detail. Thank you all for watching. I do have a course online on flower painting, teaching you how to mix colors, how to um, put your own spin on flower paintings and giving you handout sheets that you can use over and over again on how to get the proportions right for flower painting. So I will leave everything on where to sign up for that course online in the description box below as well as all of the materials that i've used i'll leave that in the description box as well all right guys you have a wonderful week and i hope you will try this out ciao